Yo, welcome back everybody. Today we have gameplay from Reno showing off why golding a witch wing early is fantastic. And then on top of that, why Quillbore are one of the strongest tribes in this game. Imagine saying that like 30 days ago. Quillbore are the strongest tribe in the game. They have ultra scaling. They have the ability to create one of the strongest units in the game and that being Bristleback Knight. And they have the ability to transfer blood gems effectively from two, three, four minions all consolidated down into a big cleave, a big divine shield, whatever it is that you need to do to counter your opponents. Your big weakness? Poison. And shockingly, as soon as we go big Quillbore, everybody pivots poison, and we have to work around it and try to find a way to win this game. It's a fun one. It was a long game, and it was a cool little pivot where we didn't immediately just gold our direction on Reno. All right, enjoy. it's a golden is even that case and that's why i don't think it's even remotely the case it's ass selfless another gambler oh my god a gambler could be witch wing might just be witch wing i don't know if we have a better line turn seven six minions on the board golden witch wing yeah, we don't have an option. We're too slow. No triples, it's Witch Wing. Just don't die, little Witch Wing. If we get enough gold here, we can just go straight to five, then potentially six. I'm playing Reno too? Dude, we're Reno bros. Fist bump. <laughs> Yeah, I hate, I hate this, this hero in this meta. Like, it does exactly the opposite of what's good in this meta. What you want is to be able to consistently hit triples and steer into that direction, not play a hero that's weak in the middle of the game, struggles to find triples, and then catapults if it finds them. Which wing's one of the highest win rate here, or cards of hero power, as Reno? If you never consider it, then uh, maybe this is the point where you start considering it. Easy clap. Look at all that free gold. There's a free reroll and five gold in my hand. It's almost a whole free turn. You'll love to see it. Hmm, reroll first, right? That's a triple. We need Bran. I think I'm okay with this. Dark Gaze or Eliza? At this stage, they're both just super good. Turn eight. Hmm. 
It's pretty close. I think we're doing Dark Gaze this game. Whew. Spicy. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Golden Witch Wing, what is this, Avenge meta? Yeah, that's what it feels like. Let's see if we can go to six next turn. No, 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 leave it alone. Leave the Witch Wing alone. Witch Wing's off limits. Off limits. Nice. Cool, 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 cool. Maybe I don't go six. Practically zero risk of cleave. So we're just gonna order this way. We're strong because of the Bristleback Knight and we're at 39 health. We get to keep leveraging the fact that like, the Witch Wing has generated 10 gold for us already. Turns out that's pretty good. <laughs> Who would have thought? Turns out a free 10 gold in the middle of the game, like having an extra full turn is pretty good. Hey, hey, continue to give me cards. Meh. Yeah, probably actually. Quobor. I like Seffen, but I'd rather play toward. There you go. You're a card. Now let's do this first. Get this gold freed up. Since when do I have a second primal fin? Gotta make sure we get the extra health on this Battlemaster. <laughs> oh shit.
Now we're just memeing. do the same thing this will cost us a little bit in the short term but we're kind of playing with house money here that we're at 39 health it's only turn 10 this thing should clean up it allows us to get all the procs and get the extra stats on the nest matron nice 10 damage is all we're risking here feels good this thing is a little bigger than I expected. I can actually deal with this. Still pretty good though. Good enough. We get all our procs and we still get the W. Or the tie at least. Okay, just a tie. But like every card that we're generating off Witch Wing here is just more rolls that we're capable of get taking here off of the Dark Gaze. I see. Might be time to get out of Witch Wing. Probably time to get out of Witch Wing. Good job, Witch Wing. You did great things. Well, uh, I don't really want to taunt this. It's kind of cool, though. I guess we're going to play Blood Gyms this game. Pumba! 5-3. I really don't want to put it on the board, otherwise we're going to sell it. I guess we don't necessarily want to keep everything here. Eh. He has no triples. Yeah, I think we're going to be okay. Just a Galakron taking Galakron level power. Seems like a YouTube game to me. Yeah, this is just kind of what Golden Witch Wing does, is allowed us all the economy to go to six, and then we hit. And then we just manually build our golden shit. Arena feels really bad if you are looking for a triple, and then you have to try to gold something, because you take so much damage in the process, the first moment you get a, a high roller, you just die. Hmm. Hmm. That was a good hit. Good enough. It sure doesn't feel like 100%. Because if this thing would hit something and then straight in the poison, I could totally die. Surprised you didn't take Ground Shaker? I think we're too far ahead right now. It's just temporary value for these turns. So if it's not on the board, Quillbore, Murlocs. We got to deal with Murloc is our problem. So stats aren't that big of an advantage. We need to deal with Murlocs, which means we need to get the shields. Eventually. Or cleave. Hmm. I don't hate Bran. Like Necrolite plus cleave or something is going to be the way that we win this. That what we need to do is pick up a Necrolite and like swap on the Wildfire. Or get the like Golden Selfless Hero or Mantids. But do we love Bran? Do I love Bran? This board is very scary and very hard for us to beat. We only have two shields. Imagine we're only going to have to deal with one Murloc. Everybody else is fairly trivial. On four elementals. I don't fear this. 
This does not spark joy. This does not spark fear. So I want a Necrolite and I want to potentially put stats on this. It's a good way to, to increase the number of units that we can kill. And eventually we're going to have to get out of like the dark gazes. Even though they're huge, they don't, they don't, all they do is one for one. We may need the ghoul. I mean, there's, there's a lot of problems here. Or we need the murlocs to die quickly. There are too many of them. Like, it's a fun game. We get to be big. But big doesn't win lobbies. Like, if there's any... Any way that anybody beats us. The way that people beat us, I should say. Is poison, at this point. Nobody's beating us on stats. So we shouldn't overcommit to buy a bunch of stats. Like, you know, these strong shells, potentially. It's Murlocs that are going to be the problem. Zap's kind of interesting. Hmm. Wish we had Naga or something. <sighs> if he's not all poison, we should just go in. I'd love to make this thing bigger. Oops. Gotta do this. Not like it matters here, but... There's no way anybody's catching us stats-wise. So we're basically just cycling for anything that makes our board stronger. We don't need a duo. Duo is one of the better cards that we can get a while ago. One big unit doesn't do shit. So we need to play for like Manted. We need to play for Cleave. All right. We got him before he got online, thankfully. We're saying like if there's a chance that we can kill the, one of the Murlocs before they get full poison, then they can't one for one all of our shit. And we kill them. But look how close this is. Two more poisons on that board, or we can't beat it. We have to cleave or something. Or we need, like, Golden Selfless to make up the unit. Murloc, Mixed Minion. C. Nope. Yo, good vibes. Yo, Sally Pants. Thank you so much for the six months. We got our cleave back. Interesting on the ghoul. I could probably should bank the ghoul. I love the Bristleback Knight. This is like, this is the shit. This is what we need. There's also a Necrolite. Um... So this is never happening now. And Pumbaa's never happening now. Like, this is what we need. Multiple Bristleback Knights can give us a way to, to outscale. So now we can sell through Agamagan. We can move the stats off of the little guys into the Bristleback Knight, and we can play toward, like, uh, Manted or something on the board. Selfless Hero. Probably should swap those. Not that it really matters here. Cool board board's not beating us. Hmm. 
Never Golden Pumba. It's too bad. Could have had it on the board the one turn and gotten the extra blood gem value from Charlie. Good value. Trade a little Bristleback Knight in training. Look at you. Being all cute and shit. Almost good. Yuck. Could be Zap. Probably should be Zap. And assuming none of these got to like ultra scaling, we could argue only one set of blood gems goes onto this. Because having another big minion is good. Where are all the selfless heroes? Feels like I've played an entire game and haven't seen a selfless. Yeah, it's about right. Nope, I'm not gonna do. <laughs> we need a counter ghoul. We need a ghoul to reset the Bristleback Knight shields. That's funny. I see. Pretty much exactly what we expected. That poison board's are gonna be a real problem here. Unless we get the like golden selfless. Oh my god, we can make one gigantic golden bristleback knight. That's totally not throwing. He's four murlocs from that point. He pivoted hard into into uh, selfless, or selfless. What am I saying? He pivoted hard into seven from that position. Five turns ago, he was all cool board stuff. Realize he can't beat our board. Why do you not buy selfless? Just buy selfless, bro. Where selfless? Is this a selfless? No, this is a green thumb. When does Lobby Legends close? Uh, midnight Pacific. Way too far away, unfortunately. Just playing for fun today. Unfortunately, this was uh, not our season. Did not have sufficient wins nor games played to be competitive realistically. Win rate was too low. Number of games was way too low. We're still climbing very quickly. It's just, I need another two days or whatever of, of play time to get to that point. All right, 60 to kill him. Nice. All right. Now we just have to deal with the last guy. People gots the work? Yeah. Yeah. If we don't play card selfless, 
we can just play position one Bristleback Knight with him having Ghoul. But if he removes Ghoul, you screw yourself over. Yep. It's kind of the way the game works. You don't always do the same thing. But I think he has to ghoul us, which means we just lead with Bristleback Knight this time. Then we keep the ghoul for next turn. We have a very situational pull of minions. Like this Dark Gaze is not very strong, but it is a taunt at the moment. So with that in mind, he's four Murlocs now. I think I want to see what he's doing and then I'll pivot accordingly we have time we're 39 I don't want to commit this I think we're more likely than playing down a minion than playing with ghoul here all right good he still has ghoul which means this thing kills ghoul and resets itself but unfortunately hit Leroy if it hits anything else we win if he hits right we still win nope never mind never mind everything sucks we got the 10 percenter. He needs a taunt, Leroy. That's his play now. At least Ghoul counters him. Kinda. We need Ghoul to die to kill the Seffen. Then we would go one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. He's at eleven. Interesting. Oh my god, a selfless zero. And Golden Ghoul. Is it Golden Ghoul? I don't think it's Golden Ghoul. Could be Ghoul selfless. Golden Ghoul kills Leroy. Kills one Leroy, but we can't kill it off. I think we force him. I think we force him to play taunted Leroy's, otherwise we win this way. Because Baron tie breaks. If he taunts his Leroy, it changes how we play. He taunted his Leroy's. That is the problem. He's still a minion down on us. Because the selfless value trades the Leroy. Okay, never mind, it's fine. Because the selfless can still kill the Leroy. We still get there. But yeah, we can play the ghoul. If he didn't have a taunted Leroy, then the ghoul doesn't die when it attacks the other ghoul. The golden ghoul does. Or golden ghoul kills this ghoul up front, which then makes this thing not die. All right, all right, all right, we got there. We got there, chat. Knowing that that was a poison scam made that game kind of hard. Otherwise, we would have just won off of huge stats. Like we just dwarf everybody stat-wise. Cool one. That was fun. Didn't get scammed. Yeah, didn't get scammed.